Welcome to this radio video and this is the solar activity and propagation report for June 19, 2014. Since our first report last week, we uh, had um, a, vi a variety of uh, you know propagation conditions. Uh, first of all, last week we were in the middle of high solar activity. We had uh, really strong flares and um, during the weekend of last week, um, June 14, 15, we actually had very high solar flux uh, reaching about 175, which is good. Uh, K index stayed low pretty much all week. Uh, so it gave us some great propagation conditions, but it rapidly uh, went down. So as long uh, you know, when, when the sunspots, there were a few sunspots that actually um, went off the solar disk because of the sun's rotation. And sunspot 2087, uh, which is right here now, was uh, pretty much on the left side of the sun here last week. And um, it really quieted down. All Pretty much all sunspots on the sun are at this time rather stable. Um, and any dangers of flares is going down right now. Solar flux also went down a lot uh, from about as high as 175, 178 last weekend. Uh, actually, right now we are at 111 today, uh, June 19th, which is much lower. Um, I consider a solar flux of uh, above 100 actually okay. So um, as long as we're staying above 100, hopefully not going back below 100 like we did about two weeks ago. Uh, we should be okay. What's to watch? Nothing much. The sun's pretty quiet. Uh, the sunspots are rather stable. Of course, anytime there could be a flare, a solar flare, um, it, you know, surprising and due to the lack of knowledge that we have about our sun, even stable sunspots sometimes give surprising flares but at this time none really really um, to see and uh, no far side explosions that we can see sometimes it, it, it does seem that the Sun is really really quieting down this year uh, maybe we're you know starting to go into the lower phase of um, we've passed the maximum of the solar cycle 24 and we're slowly going down now uh, we did have geomagnetic unrest uh, yesterday, last night, June 18th to 19th. Um, we had actually um, some auroras and some um, a geomagnetic field, a geomagnetic storm. Sorry, of a, that went to G1. G1. If we look at the ch charts here, is uh, you know some minor disruptions and. Um, not that big. I mean, if you wanted to see um, Aurora Borealis, uh, the K reached 5, which is the limit for a G1, um, you'll have to be quite far in the north. So, uh, you know, Canada and even, uh, you know, a little farther to the north of Canada, getting closer to the Arctic Circle. So, uh, a G1 storm is, is storm conditions. Last night, while we were in G1, I did uh, listen to a few stations. Uh, we, I didn't, you know, see a very uh, marked um, solar propagation, you know, um, problem in listening to the radio. I um, listened to uh, 80 meter amateur radio stations. I did listen to Radio New Zealand, as I do pretty much every evening. Nothing actually really showed that we were in geomagnetic storm last night, so uh, it, it it was probably rather small um, because a lot of the uh, stations actually that I listen to will sometimes display um, geomagnetic problems with uh, a fluttering type signal. One thing that probably could have shown me yesterday that we were going into geomagnetic storm um, on fifteen five seven five. KBS World Radio in South Korea was much weaker yesterday morning 
then it is usually at my location and uh, actually uh, forget Thailand on 15590 it wasn't even there last night so uh, shows you that things are probably a little unsettled but uh, things have quieted down this morning and we're back you know if we look at the indices here at a K of 2 which means that we are pretty much going back into a quiet geomagnetic field here. If we look at uh, solar ham data, well, things are quieting down. We uh, have, of course, a little update um, on the state of the different regions of the solar disk. Nothing really very, very big going on. So uh, propagation should be back to normal today. Uh, solar flux 111 is not that fantastic. And uh, it might actually go down. So unless there are a few flares, um, and we haven't had really any major flares. If you look here, the last flares were on June 14th, 15th of M1. So it means that uh, we are going down. If you look at the sunspot numbers, for the five, five, last five days, uh, 276, we went to 87 in sunspot, sunspot numbers. That's kind of low. Um, so we see that uh, activity on the sun has really quiet down here. I'm expecting for the next week um, rather quiet conditions. Solar flux somewhere around, around 100 to 120. Uh, so we should have okay propagation. We should receive quite well. The K index should stay pretty low if there aren't any uh, major flares and um, I think conditions should be actually quite good. Uh, you know I consider a hundred solar flux around a hundred or more to be an okay solar flux. Uh, it's not you know real high you won't have propagation into uh, let's say 50 megahertz but uh, on shortwave uh, you know a hundred or more does give propagation conditions way up into the 28 megahertz 10 meter amateur radio band so it should be okay uh, KBS World Radio this morning back to a normal level uh, which is about S8 S9 here on my uh, S meter on my radio which is pretty much as strong as it gets um, in uh, the mornings here so propagation conditions should be good for the next week uh, hopefully you'll check it out uh, we have this weekend, uh, of course, a little tips maybe I can give you is uh, we're getting into the weekend slowly, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't forget, pirate stations you often use weekends to uh, transmit. Why not, you know, check it out um, in North America, anywhere between 6850 and 7000 kilohertz, uh, AM mode, upper sideband mode, anything's possible in Europe. Uh, from 6200 to 6400 kilohertz that's more the European range so check that out and uh, hopefully you will have good conditions and good radio listening for the week to come hopefully everything will be back to great conditions um, we never know if you know sunspots can show up at any time so these are always you know propagation uh, conditions that are dependent on the Sun so if anything changes it could be better could be worse but for now everything seems pretty quiet hope you enjoyed this uh, propagation and solar activity report and uh, we'll be having these videos every week on Thursdays so look for these new uh, this new feature basically on Thursdays. This is the second edition. Uh, first one was last week and we will of course um, hopefully have this every Thursday. If you have any comments, maybe questions, maybe something that you'd like to improve, let us know. And of course the sources of my information comes from www.spaceweather.com there's dx.qsl.net slash propagation um, and there's solarham.net three great websites for uh, propagation 
conditions. So uh, hopefully you will be taking a peek at these websites to help you understand what's happening. And if you have any you know, questions about propagation, solar activity, uh, and all of that stuff, why not ask? I'll be happy to answer any questions. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next week on the Propagation and Solar Activity Report.